guys, welcome back. Uh, this is a little bit different. I'm kind of indulging myself here because of this green beast. I feel an urge to um, immerse myself in all things strattiness. And one of my favourite um, solos, it's more like a couple of chunks in the solo, I'll show you them later, uh, is in Red Hot Chili Peppers' um, Danny California, which is John Frusciante. Um, I was only going to show you the solo and then I learnt the whole tune and thought, wow, you need to know this. Um, and I'll show you all the parts, show you all the little bits and pieces. There's tons of production on this, lots of overdubs and all sorts of weird stuff. So I'll try and go through all of that. Uh, but essentially, neck pickup um, for the main riff and then you're going to be playing uh, basically A minor to G to D minor back to A minor. Okay, so the riff goes like this. just loops around. Now a little note uh, on the rhythm of that. In between each chord change you hear a little um, a little sort of down kind of rake really. Like that. It's not kind of as pronounced as I'm doing it there but it's just to get that feel so. So if, if you don't put that in it sounds like this. doesn't sound like it, it just sounds too robotic so so it's that it's very 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 rhythmic as with a lot of chili pepper stuff because um, you know you got Flea and um, Will Farrell you know smashing it together so um, I know it's not Will Farrell really And another note on it, he's a bit of a thumb over the top kind of guy, very much like Mr. McCready, you know, I mean, black for example. Or, you know. All that stuff. So, um, you know, they've got a lot in common. He does that um, with these chords too, so he's playing, so that's minor, so you're just playing, uh, the G is major, and then he goes to the D minor here, and then back to the A minor. Next thing here is this overdub which is... Not really, I don't think it's played in a wire actually, I think it's some modulation. But that without any other effect is... Um, and that slowly is... Ah, 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 hang on, just one second. I had another listen to this, um, literally just after I'd edited this whole thing together. I um, was ready to press go, upload the bad boy, and then I thought, no, no, I found a video of John Frusciante himself explaining some stuff about the tune, and I realised that uh, one of the parts I've massively simplified. So, this bit, excuse the sound quality, because we are, we're going through this little beauty, um, straight into the... Uh, camera microphone so it'll be a little bit uh, a bit like that now the I basically have simplified this uh, this a little bit to play but the last bit is wrong it's not it doesn't go back to that it goes so if you want to do the simplified version substitute that bit at the end he actually plays root notes as well so I'll play this slowly because I haven't learned it properly yet, but it goes like this. And then it goes round again, so. Like that. So 
which sounds very John Frusciante. Let me try and play it at full speed. <laughs> So it's um it's a bit rough, but I thought I'd put it in there, so you have the complete picture. All right, back to other map. Okay, so uh, just before the chorus, um, it stays on the D. So the last phrase before the chorus goes. And then you're into the chorus. So the chorus, he stomps on his boss DS two overdrive or whatever it's called I think um, and I think if you go back onto the bridge pickup it's going to sound um, a little bit more like it but that goes like this So the chorus is just power chords, uh, it's an F to a C, slide up to the D, and then down to the G. So, and the rhythm is... like that. And um, you can play... Up to you, your call. So it comes out of that into the main riff. Back to that. Uh, but the other guitar, which is overdubbed, is playing these unison bends. So, so if you go from where my first finger is, that's on the 13th fret on the B string. And then those two are on the next string up again. You'll see in the tab. So. First time round, second time round. That last note goes right up to the 17th fret on the E string. Uh, and then I think it's into the... Into that bit again. Oh, yes, one other thing actually. On the last beat you'll hear... So you can play that as well if you want. Okay, then you have um, another verse chorus, so you're going to be playing that. Um, uh, and the... Okay, I recorded over some stuff unintentionally, so I'm coming back to record this again. I love that when it's late. Love a bit of extra recording. Now in the verse, um, there are some other um, overdubs by the second guitar. I think they're played with a bit of distortion. And it's basically a 10th fret on the B string to the 8th fret, then which is 10th fret on the E string to the 10th fret on the B string. So. Uh, then you go into this sort of bridge bit, which is, which basically goes like this. I'll play it through. And that's basically a B minor to a G, just a G power chord, or you can play it there. Um, and then you're going to go to this kind of rhythm, which is basically... basically are okay but with this rhythm oh yeah at the end of that you stay on the B so the last phrase is And that is played along with flea. So you play basically slide up to the seventh fret on the E string, 
and then you play the 5th and 7th fret on the A, and then you slide down from the 7th fret on the E. Like so. Then you're into another more of that. Uh, but this time you're playing some, some more unison bends. So it's the, f uh, again, we're on the B string. Fifth fret to the third fret to the sixth fret to the fifth. That's the first time around. Second time around, it's going to do five, three, six, uh, ten. Uh, and coming out of that verse, there is a slight variation. Uh, the to the last phrase. So rather than staying on the D, there's like a. I think he overdubs some diminished stuff as well. I've read that. I couldn't figure those out, but. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I've gone back and had another look at it, and I've figured those chords out. So the first phrase is the same: D minor. The second chord he goes to is a diminished chord, but it's a G sharp diminished chord with an E in the root. So that's the G sharp diminished chord. But with the E in the bass, it goes like this. And then, after one bar of that, he slides it up three frets. So you're then talking about a B diminished with E in the bass again. Into that riff. So, very quickly, the chords are two bars of D minor. And then you're going back into the chorus riff. So there you have it. This is future Matt signing off and handing you back to Matt from a few days ago. Uh, and then over that, we're getting to the good bit. Solo's coming. Um, there's basically a load of harmonized um, guitar, single guitar line bits which go. A uh, bit like that. Um, so. Second time round, uh, this gets added. Okay, so um, the main event, and this is the reason I actually started this video in the first place, I'm a little bit sidetracked by the rest of the tune. Okay, I'm going to run through the uh, solo in phrases, uh, so here is the first chunk. Two, three... <laughs> So good, I love this tune. Um, let's go through that slowly. Um, because it gets better as well, there's better bits. Um, very Jimi Hendrix, you know. It's got that vibe um, stamped all over it. Um, but you're gonna slide up to the 12th fret on the A string to start it off. And the thing about this is, it's all about the slides. So. So that's a double stop. And again, I'm not going to call all the notes out, we'll be here all day. So check the tab, which should be probably somewhere. Somewhere around here. Um, so let me, I'll tell you what, I'll play it through slowly and then I'll talk about the bits uh, that you need to watch out for. So. Pull-offs. Or... 
But I struggle with that to pick, so um, hammer-ons it is for me. Um, now, you can hear that the riff repeats around. So the first phrase, um, the important bit there is to get the slide in up to the 12th fret. Um, the next important bit is a really quick slide from the 12th fret again, from this position, down to the 10th fret on the A string. So you can't just play. You can initially, but um, to really get it sounding as fluid and um, with as much feel as possible as you know, Mr. Frusciante puts into it, um, you're going to need to do those slides. So. Again, one slide, then so practice just going until it's quite, um, you know, uh, subconscious, unconscious, until you're unconscious. Keep doing that until you are unconscious. Don't do that. Um, and then there's uh, a couple of very quick sort of pull-offs. And then you're going to slide down to the third fret on the E string to play this. That's his kind of call and answer thing, very much like Purple Haze. Again, um, you're sliding down to the third fret. Hammer on there, and then a slide from the third fret on the A string to the fifth fret on the A string. You don't need to slide all the way from here, you can just play. Uh, and then you're going to play um, the first part of that phrase again. Okay, so. So then you're gonna um, you finish up on the D string for the, with that the first half of that phrase, but then you've got to abandon that and then slide back up to the um, 12th fret on the A string, so. which is a bit tricky. Um, you don't need to go too far away from where you are. Okay, so you're coming back to the same place, but it's it's got to be slid. It's got to be slided. Slid? Slid. You've got to use the slid. And then, uh, which is basically just just an octave above. Again, very Jimi Hendrix repeating the phrase, um, just an octave above. So let me play that whole bit through slowly. That's This is the second phrase now. That first bit goes around again. Second time round, same again until you get to the um, uh, the higher part, the, the sort of octave above. So. Um, and you're playing that phrase round, which I mentioned earlier. So. Okay, so this riff is the reason that I learned the whole solo in the first place. Let me play that in isolation and then I'll do the whole phrase just to get it out of my system. Oh, how good is that? Um, I'll play it slowly in a minute, but let me play the whole phrase. Okay, two, three, four. And then a little run at the end, which goes. Let me run through that very quickly because uh, it's uh, 
I can hear owls outside and I'm disturbing them with my wittering. So, very quickly. Same as before, but this bit. Oh, so good. Let me play that again. Oh, amazing. So slowly. Same as before, first phrase, um, but you slide up to the 12th fret. And there's a slide from the 12th to the 10th. And then you repeat that kind of phrase around this. So again, that hole through, because I love it. Uh, and then you're going to go... Again, same as before. But this time you play a bend when you uh, go to the, uh, the higher octave. Which is the 15th fret on the B string. Then you go back to the very first phrase. And then for the last bit, you can hit the wah and you're basically playing with some wah. Uh, and then he also plays this kind of um, tremolo picking uh, type thing, which is the 15th fret to the 10th fret. Does that for a couple of bars, I think. And then there's, you can play what you like, basically plays like um, So I've written a little um, piece here because I couldn't work out what he was playing. It's around, the, it's around this um, position, uh, but uh, slowly it is. Get that again. Hopefully, that makes sense. Um, anyway, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that. It's a brilliant one to play along to. And uh, see you soon on the next one. But uh, for now, chewy bye, people.